All right, guys, time for another side dish. This time we're going to be working on applying those Dorian thirds we just learned in a classic funk tune by Rick James, Mary Jane. Make sure you do learn them all the way up the neck in the key of E minor, E Dorian. But then at the end of the lesson, once you're comfortable in E, move them to other keys as well. You're going to need to learn these thirds in all keys eventually because they are so important in this music. So tune up and let's get started. Hey guys, be sure to check out membership in the description below. Members at Tasty Guitar get Sound Slice Interactive tab, backing tracks, we have live workshops, and so much more. All right, Mary Jane by Rick James. Classic funk tune and an excellent song to show you thirds in practice in a tune. Now we're going to separate this into three sections. We're going to play them individually, break them down, and then play it again at the end, putting everything together. <laughs> All right, the chord progression we are playing over is an E minor 7 to an A dominant 7. Basically, that means 2, 5, the 2 and 5 chords in the key of D major. Now, because we are mostly sticking around that E minor, I'm thinking E Dorian, the second mode of D major. So the thirds I'm using are coming out of E Dorian, and also the single note line is also E Dorian. All right, we're starting right on beat 4. 1, 2, Three, four, and. Followed by 16th notes on beat one of the following measure. So that is one, two, three. On the last 16th note of beat two, we're jumping up to this interval of a third right here, the 14th and 15th fret. Sliding out of it. So, so far we have this. One, two, three. When I play this, I'm gonna kinda of keep my 16th note motion happening by bouncing my hand a little bit here, my right hand, so that I hit that double stop on an upstroke followed by a downstroke on beat three. So watch my right hand here. One, two, three. So by keeping it in motion, I come with an upstroke there, followed by a downstroke on beat three. It keeps me locked in with the time really well. And then we go back to the beginning. Only change one note. Go down to the B note there. So, so far we have this. Next, we're gonna jump up to this third interval right here at the 12th and 14th fret. Now that is an interval right out of an A chord the C sharp and E note, the third and fifth of that A chord. So, so far we have this. One, two, three. And that's the figure, and then you just repeat that four times. All right, so let's play that entire verse section slowly. One, two, three. All right, this next section is all thirds. We're going into the chorus, sliding into the E note and C sharp. One, two, three. Right there on four and two, three. Going up to the D and F sharp. Back down to the ninth and eleventh fret. Two, three. I'm going to go up to the 14th and 16th fret, slide out of that down to the 12th, right there on beat four. So one, two, three. And 
back down to the 12th and 11th fret. So far we have this. Then sliding up again from the 7th fret. So basically we do the same thing twice. One, two, three. We're then going to go into the second half of the chorus, which is just a very simple melody. Let's play it with the metronome here at 70 BPM. One, two, three. At that point, you would go back to the verse section. Okay, let's play this one more time. Okay, let's play it top to bottom. <laughs> 